And yeah, I put the squishy wizard right in the thick of things, but I think she'll be okay. And Gord is now poisoned. You. Yeah, I realize I'm uh, putting Ken in danger here, but, uh, well, I'm probably gonna kill this zombie anyway. Yeah, exa exactly. Gong is misnamed. You should be named Linkara. You chose poorly, zombie. I, I'm, I'm serious. If Dante does not hit level 10 by the end of this battle, I will be sorely disappointed. Because... He's the man. And Ken is gone. Both of my knights within two turns. Within two turns. And even though he doesn't really need it, Chris, kill Dante. And Chris gets level. Chris is now level 5. Attack increases by 2. Defense by 1. Max HP by 1. Max MP by 1. Magic resistance by 3%. And heal level rises to 2. Now we have two healers with heal 2. Yeah, baby! Because if you don't remember correctly, uh, Gong got healed to in the last battle, so... Yeah, I know that was a weak level up, but I don't particularly care. Alright, Dante, hit the skeleton. 12 points of damage. Dude. I called it. I freaking called it. Dante is now level 10. Defense by 2, max HP by 2, max MP by 2. And I think in this, I think in this, uh, level 10 is actually where you can start promoting people, but I'm not going to yet because uh, the longer you wait to promote your characters, the better they're going to end up being when they're promoted. And look at that. I am a man! Boom! And that zombie's dead. Gong takes a little bit of damage, though. Okay, um... Hans! Shoot the skeleton! Five points of damage. Shooting arrows at a skeleton, I realize, is not really the uh, optimal uh, thing to do, but... Why am I using freeze against zombies? I am an idiot. I'm gonna conserve MP and just use Blaze. Level 1 here. Not as much damage, but... Like I said, I'm conserving MP. is lagging behind on attack here, kind of. No! Ah, me! She didn't even name me as her successor! I mean, wait, what? Oh, Skeleton, you should not have done that. Uh, which no 
one that needs healing. I don't think. Except for Gong. A whopping two points. I'm just gonna have low spiel spam healing on Gong. So that maybe low can actually get a freaking level. No, I'm not going to use the heal spell, or the attack spell this time. It's just way too broken. Besides, if I had, I probably just... I probably would have KO'd that go one hit on next turn. And that's just not fun. That's just... That's just no fun at all. Yeah, see, that's what heal 2 does. It increases the range out to uh, two spaces. And also includes the diagonal. Instead of having Gong attack this card, I'm gonna have him heal himself. And because it's heal level 2, we got two fairies! Oh, and Gong gained a level off that! Level 9, attack increases by 2, defense by 2, max HP by 2, max MP by 2, magic resistance rises by 3%, kick <laughs> kill breaker! And he took two points of damage from poison. All except for the magic resistance. Two is about. Hans killed the zombie. Aimed for the head, no doubt. And I think I'm gonna actually have Tao get this kill. This is what I've been conserving MP for. Tau. Toast. Three points of damage! Ah. Oh well. She's still got the level up from it. Speed is one. Speed. Magic resistance by one. God, that sucks! Four points of damage. Dante is asleep. Dante to sleep. Ah, Chris Hillen. And well, he is actually going to heal Gong because Gong needs it a bit worse. No level for no level for you. Not to sleep. Doesn't matter because I have a feeling we're gonna punch him to death here. Yep. Okay. When I don't try to get the heal, the clear bonus, I get it. When I do try to get the clear bonus. I don't get it. This game's trolling. Thanks for saving us. I'm eternally grateful. Thank y'all that so much. That's okay, but why are you here? We bird men are powerful warriors. We can soar through the skies. We get our energy from the sun, as long as you don't steal our crest from us. Because of this, we are seen as threats and attacked by Runefast. Our race is almost annihilated. The survivors were forced to flee, leaving their country behind. My wife and I have been traveling in search of my lost brethren. We are staying here to take a break from our travels when Dark Soul appeared. We fought as hard as we could, and we are no match for him, y'all. The priest who took us in was unable to protect us, bless his heart. We are in favor to ask you. You were truly fighting against Runefass, and we'd be honored to join you. Our power of flight are at your service. Bob Roy and Amon join the Shining Force. Finally, we have two fighting units. We have two flying units. And of course, flying units 
travel a long distance, and they are immune to terrain effects. There is very little terrain that flying units cannot go over. Thanks. We'll take on Runefaust together. Head lie the forest of Bust Oak. Beyond that is the Powell Plain. Further on, the Eastern Continent. Please allow us to guide you along the path to Bust Oak. Let us know when you're ready to depart. We'll wait at HQ. Uh, one last request. When you put us on the field, try to keep us together. Uh, uh nothing. Here, take this as a token of my gratitude. I'm afraid it's all I have right now. I'm sorry. And we're, and of course, we're getting cards, but the cards don't mean anything. Like the points on whose line, they are completely useless. For now, anyway. And they're even more useless by the fact that we have the Chief Naval. And so Dante and the other members of the Shining Force set forth from Shade Abbey, led by Balbaroy and Amon. The party raved in the mountainous region of Bustoak, beyond Bustoak, along the plains of Pau. Plains of Pau, try saying that five times fast, lay the eastern continent, prompt, where the children of the gods lived, and the sacred land of Metatha. Searching for the secret of the legacy, the Shining Force continued their quest. And you know what? We are going to go ahead and do the epilogue tonight, because uh, we, we got time. Now, Doctor Who isn't on until 7 o'clock my time, so... Hmm. It's okay. Come quick. Oh, the looks of it! Lord Evan Roadfast tropes now about this secret passageway! Ah! I started her off as a money cough on Pepper Pot voice, and now she turned into Pinky of all things. Ah, uh, we'll go with it. Nope. Weekly! To the poor brain! I got the other arm, yes! We grew them a Western Colony! With new troops! Zod! Rumor in the death fighting against Rufus! We must join up with him! So Rufus creep extends even to this place! It looks like the clever, then it's not the thought. What shall we do? Simple. The way back is already cut. Nothing left to do but fight. Okay, and for those of you who forgot or didn't see from yesterday when we did the epilogue, uh, Narsh's uh, big thing is attack boosting, his status boosting magic. She's the buff wizard. Uh, she can also smack foes pretty darn well, too, with her staff. Uh, Zwika is a ninja. I don't think I have to say anything more than that. Zwika is a ninja. Here, I'll show you. It's these outlaws. Ninja Storm, read your form! And so, while we're back here in Narsha, I completely forgot about this. Uh, new units to fight against. We have the Outlaw. We have the Kraken. The Kraken has been unleashed. We have Dobgovich. Some kind of goblin type creature. Uh, we have Chestier that... Well, actually, yeah, we can get to those Chester. But yeah, those are our, our battle units we are battling against today. And uh, just for the sake of hilarity... Okay. I can actually do this a lot better if I stack them side by side. Unfortunately, this will be the only time Narsha will be able to use a spell, so once it wears off, we're kind of boned. But... Uh, Casting it now shouldn't be too much of a problem. Attack uses up a lot of MP, but uh, yeah, both she and...